House Democrats block Republicans' push for oversight of Ukraine aid. Now, it makes you wonder why the Dems do not want uh, uh, oversight, why they don't want to um, find out and, and make sure that the um, uh, taxpayer money is being put forth to what they say is being put forth to. But, um, but I think we all know the answer to that. We know why they don't want to hold um, uh, the, U the Ukraine government into um, account because uh, they took in some of that money. That's what the whole stuff that went on with um, SBF is about, with um, FTX. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. And there's also a link to my Instagram. All right, let's talk about this news. House Democrats have blocked an audit of billions of dollars of the U.S. military and economic aid to Ukraine, signaling a, a bitter partisan fight ahead of um, ahead as the incoming Republican majority vows to scrutinize what it, it calls President Biden's blank check for Ki uh, Kiev, um, the, for a Kiev war with Russia, and that's basically what it is. Look at the billions upon billions of dollars that we gave to them and they don't they don't want to uh, to make sure that the money is gone being spent like they say they're spending it because we also know from way back in 2014 that they even said that Ukraine was one of the most corrupt governments in the world and we're literally giving them billions of dollars unaccounted for uh the measure calling on the Pentagon and state uh State Department to provide Congress with documents on U.S. aid to Ukraine since the Russian invasion in February was defeated by a 26 to 22 House Foreign Affairs Committee vote on Tuesday. The vote blocked the bill from receiving a vote on um, the House floor. Now, I, I really want to know their rationale behind not not um, auditing uh, all that money we're giving them. A uh, committee chairman. Gregory W. Meeks, New, uh, New York Democrat, called the resolution led by Rep. Marjorie Taylor Greene, Georgia Republican, an extremist ploy to undermine strong bipartisan support for Ukrainian freedoms and sovereignty. What? So holding these people to account to make sure they're putting money to use what they say they're going to put it up to use for is, is an extremist ploy to undermine them? I mean, this is, it's just it, it, the, their excuse doesn't make sense. Quote, this measure plays straight directly to uh, Vla uh, Vladimir Putin's hands, Mr. Meek said. This is not the time for us to be divided. We've held together with NATO and um, our allies. Let's not fall into this trap. I mean, this is ridiculous. So who bought and paid for this dude? Um, Ms. Green has been critical of sending U.S. taxpayer dollars to Ukraine. She argues that the funds should be put to use to secure America's southern border, a position held by a small group of Republicans since the start of the war. Her calls for transparency are in line with uh, the more broadly held uh, view among Republicans that the U.S. should not continue uh, uh, sending blank checks to Ukraine, and most Americans agree with that as well. Quote, the resolution didn't say anything about being pro-Ukrainian war or anti-Ukrainian war. None of that language is in there, Ms. Green told uh, the Washington Times. Quote, I am simply asking for an audit, which I believe the American people deserve. That's not even political. So now they're politicizing audits. <laughs> Quote, if the de Democrats think it's extreme for the American people to have transparency about where their hard-earned tax dollars are, are going in Ukraine, then I think the Democrats need to consider how they're representing our country, she said. I think it's extreme to tell the American people that they don't deserve an audit of where their money is going. Rep. Michael T. McCall of Texas, the top Republican on the committee and a staunch advocate for, uh, uh, for continued U.S. support of Ukraine, argued prior to the vote that support um, does not have to come at the expense of transparency. Quote, Every single U.S. dollar counts, and the Biden administration should expect the Republican-controlled majority in the House next Congress to be vigilant and demanding transparency and accountability for U.S. assistance to Ukraine, Mr. McCall said. Quote, the American taxpayer deserved this. Uh, Ukrainian-born Rep. Victoria Sparks, Indiana Republican, said a lack of oversight on the U.S. aid 
Um, it, it could be, uh, hold on a second. I don't have the rest of this. Sorry about that. Um, it could be detrimental to the long-term support of this important cause. I mean, again, how, what is wrong? <laughs> what is wrong with, um, an audit? What is wrong with a, accounting for where our money goes? But, uh, goes on to say, quote, it's unfortunate and irresponsible that Democrats in Congress are not performing one of their main functions, oversight of the executive branch, regardless of who's in charge, she told the Times. Ms. Green introduced the measure with 11 Republican co-sponsors last month on the heels of, of the White House request for an additional $37.7 billion dollars. Uh, in 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 aid to Ukraine, so we're just giving the money and hopeful hoping for the best. We're giving them the money and hoping that it's going uh, uh, towards the war. We're giving them the money and hoping that it's going towards their military. Uh, it, it makes I mean, this is who does that? Who does that? Um, the request includes twenty one point seven billion in additional military aid to Kiev um, and to replenish U.S. stockpiles of weapons that have been sent there. The White House also is requesting $14.5 billion, with a B, for direct budget uh, support for the Ukrainian government and humanitarian assistance. $626 million for nuclear security support uh, for Ukraine and to reduce energy costs. And $900 million for health care assistance for Ukraine refugees. Um, so leftists, there you go. You're crying about health care. Well, we, we don't get it here. They're sending it over to Ukraine. <laughs> I wonder how they really feel. They, and the thing is, most of uh, uh, the leftists don't even really know this stuff. They they could care less about the billions upon billions of dollars that we're sending over there. Uh, the latest request is on top of more than sixty six billion in economic, humanitarian, and military aid to Ukraine approved by Congress since the Russian invasion. The majority of those funds, thirty thirty nine point seven billion, have been allocated. For security assistance so so leftists that's for reparations black people that's for reparations there go your reparations right there biden who you voted for sent it all over there to to um to white folk in ukraine um the sum represents the largest obligation of u.s security assistance to a single country in a single year since 1949 according to analysis by the center for international policy outpacing u.s support at the heights of the wars in Vietnam, Iraq, and Afghanistan. The $39.7 billion in U.S. security assistance to Ukraine in just one year totals more than a third of the $93.9 billion in assistance provided to Afghanistan throughout that 20-year war, the whole 20 years we were in um, Afghanistan. Quote, we were tracking where weapons were ending up in Afghanistan, said Cato Institute Defense and Foreign Policy Analysis Jordan Cohen. Quote, we're doing a very limited amount of that in Ukraine right now. If we can't tell where our weapons are going to end up, that's a problem, he said. And Americans don't want to talk about um, talk about it right now. The Pentagon and State Department have outlined plans to track the flood of weapons and assistance provided to Ukraine, but officials acknowledge that without a robust U.S. presence on the ground, tracking weapon shipments to the front lines have proved to be challenging. And we know that some of those weapons ended up in in, um, in Africa in, in terrorist in terrorist hands. Um, but they don't even talk about the government. Don't even talk about that. Um, I, I did a video on that. Um, quote. We don't know where these weapons go, Ms. Green said. That just means that Americans is willing to write blank checks and not see where our money is spent. That's a very dangerous place. Uh, Democrats argue that adding controls will slow aid to the front lines, putting Ukraine's ability to defend itself at stake. And Rep. Uh, Sarah Jacobs, a California Democrat and member of the committee, said that while she supports oversight of U.S. lethal aid, the proposal put forward by Ms. Green is not the way to go. Ms. Jacobs said she has little doubt that Ukraine is putting the aid uh, to appropriate use. Yeah, right. Like I, like I put, um, like I stated, we know that some of those weapons are going to terrorists. Quote, um, I think we've seen the Ukrainians have a huge success on the battlefield, which they wouldn't be able to do if they were uh, misusing what we were giving them, she said. But that, that's a dumb argument. That is a dumb argument. Because October... 
uh, 30 liberal House lawmakers urged President Biden in an um, open letter to push more assertively uh, for peace talks, a clear break from uh, a, a clear break with the president. But of course, he's not going to talk about any of that stuff. He's going to continue to push war with Russia because war is profitable. It's going to continue to keep giving Ukraine all these billions upon billions of dollars because the Democrats are getting kickbacks. That's exactly why they don't want anyone looking into this because they are getting some of this money from Ukraine through the Ukraine aid. And we know this from, like I uh, alluded to earlier, from the FT FTX uh, fiasco. They were receiving some of that money. But um, let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace. Oh, say, say, oh, say.